everyone, and welcome to Whose Life Is It Anyway? A show where everything is made up, but the points actually do matter. If any of that sounds a little familiar, well, that's because, yes, this is an improv comedy podcast where all the stories you are about to hear were completely made up on the spot, guided and prompted by real improv comedy games. How does it work? Well, two players are tasked with having a podcast-like interview or conversation, making it all up as they go, but there's a third guest who can interrupt at any time and give them new rules or new directions for their conversation via a list of different improv games and guidelines. How do you win? Well, if a player breaks character or simply doesn't follow the rules of the game they're in at the time, the other person is awarded a point, and at the end of a 20-minute time limit, the guest with the most points wins, and of course, becomes known to the world as a comedic genius. So, without any further ado, let's find out who's making stuff up in this episode. an impression yeah, of a man holding in diarrhea. Yeah, so like, it's <laughs> really... Give <laughs> uh, me your up, please. <laughs> yeah, she left me. It was terrible. <laughs> and accents, go. You're holding in diarrhea. <laughs> not an accent is that? At all. Well, China, the if you're listening, I'm coming for Just you. Just for TikTok. The points do matter on this show, Leah. And on that note, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. This show... Is called Whose Life Is It Anyway? Where we're going to sit and we're going to make up somebody's life story right on the spot and try to create some sort of a sensible podcast interview while we go. This episode, I am joined by two lovely friends of mine. First, Leah Ingram on the show. Leah, thank you so much for being here. Well, you're you welcome wait, so much you for being say, here. Oh, you just like started dancing. You didn't even say anything. You just started dancing. That's, that's how I am. That's wow. who I am. Well, know? I don't know if you can outdo that introduction, but uh, sitting to my right on the show, my friend Taylor Lumley. Welcome. Oh, God, we're on camera. Hi. Didn't dance. Didn't have a dance prepared. I'm so <laughs> while Taylor figures out what he's doing here, I'll explain it to you guys really quick. So if you're new to the show, what's about to happen is Taylor and Leah are about to sit here and try to make up their own podcast interview as they go. They're going to improv it, if you will, off the top of their heads and make everything up. But since I am sitting in the improv host captain's chair, I get to have some control over what they do. So I've got this lovely cheat sheet of real improv comedy games that I'm going to be able to interrupt them with at any point in time and change up what they do. And they have to try to continue having their conversation using these guidelines that I give them using that very loud an obnoxious, perfectly obnoxious, if I could say, buzzer. So, to get us started, I'm going to start the timer. We'll get 20 minutes on the clock because uh, somebody's got to win here. The points, Leah, you were saying the points don't matter. The points do matter on this improv well, show. I just, okay? I, I thought it just mattered that we had fun. Well, that that is that's really what, what my that's mom actually always said. okay. That's what matters in the end. I'm but, going down. Are you telling my mom she's wrong? <laughs> yes, Leah's mom. If you're watching Janet? the show, I'm Janet. I'm so sorry, but you're wrong. This show it matters. Winners matter. Somebody's never allowed on the show again if you lose. Janet is such a good mom name. It's like <laughs> Janet. <really> Janet. Is, <laughs> Janet is a great a great mom name. All right, now that our <laughs> listeners and viewers are awake from that scream of Janet. <laughs> I'm going to get our 20 minutes on the clock so we can figure out who can build up the most points within that time limit and win this flipping game. But first, I got to assign you your role. So let's figure out who's doing what in this podcast interview. So, Taylor, I want you to be the interviewer okay. in this podcast, but okay. I'm going to assign you some characteristics, okay? Okay. You are the host of your own spooky and mysterious podcast mm. that talks to people who do unusual things okay okay some sort of mystery surrounding them so that's you that's your character you're the host leah you are the guest on taylor's show and you are a freshly returned from what we thought was dead amelia Earhart. Oh, so wow. you are Amelia Earhart doing your first podcast interview ever, revealing that you've actually been alive this entire time. And Taylor, you're the host. So you guys ready? I'm starting the timer. 20 minutes begins now. Take it away. 
Welcome back, folks. This is the Disney Freaks podcast, the haunted house of mouse, if you will. Uh, we're here with Amelia Earhart, of all people, patron saint of the Church of the... Uh, what is it again? The Church Airplanes. of the Airplanes, right? Yep. Yeah, it's the yep. ride where they go around the buzzer and the Dumbo ride. Um, yeah. Recently back from the dead, uh, you've been missing for like 70 years now and have not aged. Can you kind of fill us in on what you've been up to this time? Well, I don't remember uh, really a lot of it, but you know, w what I do remember is uh, when I woke up, I didn't have my goggles. So that was a big thing. You mm. know, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize I had been gone for all this time, but what I did realize is that my goggles were gone mm. and I didn't know where my plane was or how I got on the ground or why I was in Finland, but you oh, know, okay. Finland. it was this year. So, um, I'll be honest, while I was, while I was out and doing whatever it was I was doing, I, I don't know what I was doing. Mm, okay. So, uh, when you woke up, kind of put us in the scene here, like you wake up, goggles missing, a uh, plane nowhere to be found. What kind of McDonald's were you in front of? Change. Burger King were you in front of? So the Burger King that I was in front of um, in Finland, when I, when I saw it, at first I didn't realize it was a Burger King because 70 years ago, Burger King was um, well, very different. Right. And so when I saw Burger King, it, it, was, it was very uh, Finnish. Oh, uh, okay. Change. Well, it was very uh, large. Change. It was very neon. So mm. neon signs everywhere. I wasn't used to seeing that. And I thought, well, this, you know, we're not, we're not in Kansas anymore, you know? Right. And I'm sure the, the spelling of Burger King in Finnish was very hard to understand. But you see that giant Whopper and you just know. Yeah. All right. We're going to pause. We are going to play our first improv game here. And we are going to play accents only. Go. So you wake up in the Finland. And it's a giant whopper, neon sign in front of you. What are your feelings as you see this giant glowing hamburgers? Well, you know, I see this boy girl in front of me and I thought, this is a big ass boy girl. Yes, yes, compelling stuffs. I never saw such a big boy girl in my whole life. And I thought, damn, I'm hungry. Yes. Oh, I would imagine after sleeping for so long so that you'd be very tummy rumblings. <laughs> well, I can't say I was sleeping. I don't know where if I was awake. I don't know if I was asleep. All I knew was in that moment when I saw that big boy go, <laughs> I needed it. Pause. <laughs> Pause. No one's lost. You guys are doing great. I'm. I'm just fascinated by boiga <laughs> but you eat the boigas <laughs> we are going to stack another improv game on top of this so i want you to keep the accents but now we are playing questions only go so when you find yourself in front of big burgers hungry yes well who wouldn't be so freaking hungry when they see this giant boiga you know Yes, tasty crunch, uh, french fries. They make my tummy rumblies. Make your tummy rumblies? Well, who, who, who can't be compelled to eat something, you know, that's just so good? And I know all of our uh, Disney freaks out there want to know, uh, Cokes or Diet Cokes? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when I was younger, I only used to drink Coke, but who, when they get old, decides that they like Coke better than Diet Coke. You guys are making these questions really long. The Surge is, is more my favorite drinks, but my grandma, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Leah gets a point. You guys were giving like entire paragraphs and then asking a question. I could have, I could have docked you mm. earlier, mm. but you know what? Taylor but did it for you. But he's so gracious. Uh, I appreciate the non-docking. So. <laughs> First point goes to Leah. You're on the board. Congratulations. And I'm really liking where this is going. You really sound like Amelia Earhart. So we're not playing questions only anymore. Back to normal, but keep the accents. Okay. Oh, case. <laughs> so you wake up in front of Burger Kings. You want the Diet Cokes. You see the giant burgers. Uh, how did you find out what years it was? Well, so, you know, I walk into this Burger King. <laughs> and... And I thought, 
What are all these screens? Where? What is going on here? I must have walked into like a different dimension. Yes. You know, and so I walk into this place and I said, well, first I said, can I get a freaking boiga? Mm. <laughs> yes, here at, as a, at the Disney Freaks, we do ascribe to the multidimensional theory. So if you were in different dimension, uh, please, I mean, tell us about it. Pause. We are now going to play the game. If you know what I mean, you may speak only in innuendos. Keep the accent? But keep the accent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and go. So multidimensional means there's multiple yous, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I do know what you mean, but I will say that, you know, while I was gone, I felt like there was another person inside of me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's kind of like um, you wakes up and your brother Yuri is behind you and he just is saying, faster, faster, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you know, when, when you drive, when, you are an, when you're a pilot and you, and you drive in planes, you know, people say that to you a lot, you know, to go faster. But um, what I will say is that I was hearing a lot more voices than I've ever heard telling me to go faster. And, ah, uh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. I'm like, I can turn this into an orgy joke. I don't even that know where to go. That is Taylor's first official point. Yes. You're on the board. If you, you hear know that, what mom? I mean. You hear that? I got a point. And Leah's mom, who's also yeah, watching Janet. for sure. Janet, you hear that? I you got hear a point. that? You hear that, Janet? She didn't make the orgy joke the way yeah. she wanted. Also, call me. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, I'm going to let it be up to you guys if you want to keep doing the accents. I personally love them, and I've grown attached to these characters. But I'll leave it up to you. Back to normal. The game's over. Keep going. Well, uh, you know, after being stuck in the orgies in the different dimensions, you pop back up in front of Burger Kings. You're in Finland. Uh, did they have the chicken fries? You know... Different Burger Kings have different things. And so I didn't even know chicken fries existed. Mm. Change. I didn't even know that onion rings existed. And so I walked in asking actually for some onion rings because I saw them, you know, on the, the menu. And they said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't carry that at this location. Would you like some chicken fries? And oh, I thought... Okay. What kind of, like, fries come from, you know, potatoes? Uh, what kind of place am I in with this chicken-flavored potatoes? You know, like, yes, I yes. was very confused. And without the onion rings, they cannot give you the bonus ring that they usually put in with the fries or the chicken fries to tell you, hey, we got the onion rings, too. Pause. I'm giving us another game. We are now going to play Alphabet. So I'm going to sign you a letter you got to start with. And each of your sentences must start with the next chronological letter in the alphabet. It's a terrible way for people to find out I don't know the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> and I want us to start with N. And go. No. They say at the register, no, we don't have onion rings is here. This is Finland. That's illegal. Onion rings are illegal in Finland? I didn't even actually realize that. But, you know, I didn't want to get arrested, you know, so I, I bought the chicken fries. Uh, Pepsi, also illegal in Finland, if you didn't know. That's why they have the Cokes or the Diet Cokes only. Quit it. I did not even know that. <laughs> so you are telling me that I can't have onion rings. I can have chicken fries. Okay, so I'm just, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm learning new things about Boiga King. Right, and the thing is, in the Finlands, uh, they have no onion rings because they can't grow onions, but they have way too many chickens. So they really be pushing the chicken fries on people because they're like, hey, we got to get rid of some of these chickens. So are you telling me that chickens originated in Finland? That's correct. Unbelievable. So, chickens, because I always, you know, 
70 years ago, they were telling us they had chickens back when Mary was around, you know, they gave Mary a chicken when she was pregnant with, with baby Jesus. Um, the very serious talk about this. Uh, chickens have become a big problem. They are like tiny little dinosaurs that are walking around and murder everything that is smaller than them. What's smaller than a chicken? Xerxes. <laughs> <laughs> From the 300s, he is smaller on the screen than the chickens in the real life are bigger. <laughs> You've got to explain to me I didn't have a screen when I, was, when I left, so tell me more about these creatures. <laughs> I can't think of anything no, that's no, that's <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that you did X, good. but not Z. Yeah, you had an X. <laughs> Zerxes. <laughs> was, you had, a, you had an like, X, but not a Z. All right. That's another point for Leah. We are a little over halfway through this game. So you still got time to come back. Mm. So as you were, keep this podcast going. So, you know, we are talking about the chicken fries and how they try to push them on you. No onion rings because they're illegal, sir. Um, what did you end up getting? So I got, you know, the chicken fries because um, the marketing, it, it's just, it was fantastic. You know, I came in and they, they, they said, welcome to Boyger King. Would you like some chicken fries? We don't have onion rings. And I said, I'll take some chicken fries, but I got to try one of these Boygers. Mm. Yes, and they have the new Impossibles burgers, which it confuses me because I don't understand how something that exists can also be impossible. But that's just um, me and I'm stupid. <laughs> Pause. I'm going to use my uh, host powers here. You're switching roles. You are now Amelia Earhart, and you are now whoever this Russian podcast host is. <laughs> and go. So I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't do that. The I can't get out question. of the accent now. No, no, no. no. Technically, technically, if he asked the question last, or, you know, t well, yes, actually, So then yes. he has to answer Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I don't even remember what I asked. So as I was at the Burger Kings, <laughs> right, and... My brain is melting right now. I, I got myself the chicken. <laughs> I can't stay. I can't really go back to the Russian accent. Fuck. <laughs> now, even though that's not technically a game, I think that's technically a I point to leave. I think that's a point for... I, I think would, that's technically a if point If you could take Leah. a point from me and give it to her, I would be totally understanding. I have yet to see someone's brain physically malfunction on this show, and I think I uh, just did. I think there's I steam just, coming you know, up, actually. I was yeah, stuck yeah. in the Russian you're, cut, you're a little sweaty. Say, you should have had a drink I mean. for this. You should have had a drink. Yeah. Should we switch back to normal? We are switching accents? back to normal. I mean, accents are literally up to you guys now. But back to normal. You get to be a Russian podcast host or just <laughs> podcast host. You are Amelia Earhart. Back to normal and go. Okay, so they only have the cooks and back cooks <laughs> there. <laughs> You, uh, you're saying that you got the chicken fries, which to me, I think they're funny. They look like fingers and like they chop them off and fry them for you. They're like, oh, here's some fingers, barbecue sauce. Um, but then she gets the burgers and is it, was it the Impossibles burgers? You know, I didn't know burgers could be impossible either. That was something that was very new um, because, yeah, 70 years ago, burgers was, was still new. I didn't understand. So, you know, it was, it was, very, it was very puzzling. But... Um, it was good, whatever kind of boygo it was. Mm. I, I think it was a real boygo. It tasted real. Change. I think it was an impossible boygo. Change. I think it was a McChicken sandwich. <laughs> you know, I thought it was a boygo king, but it tasted like a McChicken sandwich. Yes, I and the finish. I'm going to pause us. We are now going to play the game Whose Line. So I'm going to give you each two secret lines on these pieces of paper. And as you're continuing your conversation, sometime soon you need to implement these secret lines into what you're saying and go. As you know too, in the Finland Burger Kings, they are very well known for stealing from the McDonald's because they're very jealous of their slogans, which in Finland is, have you ever wished you could reverse poop? Like just suck it back in? Uh, I'm loving it, you know? <laughs> you know, Back when I um, was still living my regular life, I, I think they had a different slogan at, 
at McDonald's, didn't they? Well, you weren't alive, probably. I don't no, know. No, I am 14 years you old. Are <laughs> so when I was still a young, a young thing, you know, I, I was around when McDonald's started. And when I, when I first went to, Bo to Burger King, <laughs> they had their own slogan that wasn't even half as good. But it was urinal cakes. <laughs> ah, because the burgers, they were uh, size of urinal cakes, yes? You know, I never put that together, but their burgers, their burgers were pretty small. Now, now that you point that out. And maybe that's why they were never quite as successful as McDonald's. Yes, and I remember, too, um, when they first came out with the breakfast at the Burger Kings to uh, compete with the McDonald's, they had the tiny sausages, and people were like, oh, are these burgers? Are they sausages? I don't understand. Why will I eat this in the morning times? And most people would just respond and say, I pay prostitutes to suck on my eyelids. <laughs> so they're like, I'm not going to take this shit. You give me my McDonald's breakfast or my Burger King breakfast, or I'm going to go pay a prostitute to suck on my eyelids. You know... We, all, we had prostitutes back in the day, but we, we didn't have drive throughs So, you know, yelling at people in a drive through about your breakfast sandwich is a very new thing to me. Because mm. um, I've been back now for only, a, you know, a few weeks. Um, but going through a drive through it was really strange to me because, you know, I pulled up to the drive through and you know what they said? They said, I'm sitting on my keys and I like it a lot. <laughs> mm. I think it, uh, if it was at the McDonald's, I think they make them wear the keys under the bottom uh, as a form of punishment. Pause. We're getting to our last few minutes of the episode here. So I'm going to shake things up a bit. I'm going to pause us for a second on the timer so I can explain this. I'm going to play the role of podcast producer because while I've grown very attached to this story, I'm still unsure of the whereabouts of Amelia Earhart. And I feel like there needs to be some darker alternative motives in this to really, really spice up this story. Because we're about to wrap up this show. I need, I need a crazy ending. So here's what I want. Secretly, this entire time, you've had her on the podcast. But you, yes, while you have a strange and mysterious podcast, you're a cryptid hunter. And you believe that there's something mysterious about one Amelia Earhart. You knew she was still alive. You were waiting. This was a trap that you set for her. And Amelia Earhart was, in fact, a witch. And you're going to reveal that to him before the show is over. So you're a hunter. You've been looking for witches and strange things. And it's been the secret this entire time. And you are secretly a witch. And that's where you've been. Let's close out the show with a bang and action. So the reasons why I bring you on the Disney Freaks podcast is uh, throughout the lore of the Disney's, uh, there's always a Wicked Witch of the West, a Wicked Witch in the uh, Sleeping Beauties and stuff like that. I was very curious, like, you disappear for so long. Do you think that maybe it was some type of weird, maybe you got kidnapped by the Mothmans, by the witches, by the Bigfoots, um, well, anything like that? You know, it's one of those things that when you, when, when you begin flying you really start to, you know, connect with things like witches because they, they fly on brooms, mm. you know? That was always what, what we were told anyway, you know? Um, and so I, I never found my airplane because I was, f in fact, flying on a broom. It was my very first flight. Oh. <laughs> and I... Did she just admit that she... <laughs> you're... you're get Go on. Get <laughs> Go on. You were saying brooms? <laughs> no, the ghost trap. Get the trap. And so I lost my broom because all of, you know, you don't really run out of fuel, so to speak. But you do run out of little pieces of hay, you know, as, as you start. Change. You know, you do start. No, not that one, the bigger <laughs> one. <laughs> She's like six three. Stop asking. <laughs> you you do start getting tired. You know, you start you start losing you start losing consciousness, and you start the magic stops flowing through you so so easily. You know. Yes, yes. And so yeah, I was very intrigued by witchcraft, um, because you know my friend Sarah. She was like, you know what I would love to try? I think she has a second. She, she, 
she said, I would love to try to hex that bitch, Becky. And nice. I said, I don't really like Becky either. So we got together. We started looking into this stuff. And I was at the, as a pilot at the time, I was intrigued by flying pretty much anything. Yes, yeah. yes. So you hexed the Becky and... Um, <laughs> no, get it over there. She's on the other side. Hex and the Becky. You hex the Beckys and she is... Um, she dies, yes? Or is she like cursed? Or how so does this work? Pause. We're in the final minute of the game here and we are going to play number of words one more time. I want you to have five words, Leah. And Taylor, you have two words. And go. We made her nose big. You're a bag. <laughs> big nose. Yeah, you know, a honker. A honker? That's what they call it. Yuri, back. Look, Yuri. <laughs> Get her! <laughs> oh, crap. What is this? <laughs> that's our 20 minutes. And in my head, that's where his <laughs> Russian brother kidnapped Amelia Earhart as a witch. <laughs> the fact that this imaginary podcast ends... <laughs> <laughs> With Amelia Earhart, the witch, getting caught in a bag, and she goes, oh, crap, what is this? And it just cuts. The just, idea of that being the end. This famously missing woman comes on the Disney Freaks podcast, hosted by a 14-year-old Russian guy, and uh, ends up going missing again. <laughs> what, a, what a turn of events. Wow. Uh, what a wild and wacky twist-filled story that was. A Man. lot of fast food. A lot of fast food talk. It's, it's amazing that Amelia Earhart, having been missing <laughs> for years, her first interview back and in all this Russian child can ask her is just about what fast food she saw. When well, she, you know what I they say. We are, yeah, we are the fast food generation, too. I, so. I guess that's it's true. true. Very, very focused. Didn't, I don't think the, the Russian youngster really knew who he was sitting down with, truthful. I don't, even, I don't know if he knew the extent of like how powerful mm. having Amelia Earhart on the show was. But Especially if she's a witch. She's a witch. You, you did know that, though. Mm. He, was, he was certainly sure about that. I also love that Yuri, the brother, was, was on standby just in case. It's like a yeah. PA, you know? Yeah, like, yeah just, just like... like he's holding the microphone. Well, when, you, when you do a spooky <laughs> enough podcast and you're searching for like real monsters that you hope you get one, turns out it's Amelia, Amelia Earhart. Earhart. It turns out it's Amelia Earhart. Who was a, a New Yorker witch the entire time. The entire time. We yeah. gave her a honker. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we have had the fun of creating that insane story, I got to bring the energy down a little bit because... Oh, I lost. <laughs> I, got, I for sure lost. <laughs> because, because this this show, unfortunately, has to have a winner and a loser. All in the same. So, a lot of points were thrown back and forth in this, as you guys probably remember. You were there. I feel Taylor. Like Leah beat me like the think? Warriors, kind of. <laughs> Just like three. Three. Okay. So, you think, you think Leah won? Uh, I feel like Leah won. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Leah, how you, how you feel? You really, you were good with Amelia. You, you, you really method acted I'm there. Drunk. You, I'm you, so drunk. You, you really got into Amelia Earhart. Like, you really did. I, think, I, I yeah. tried to think about planes a lot. Mm. You did. I, I felt like you were missing for seven years. That's true. I'm happy to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm very, very happy to have you on this show. Well, the final score is in. Taylor, one. Leah, three. Oh, okay. This oh. episode. You got me there. <laughs> I was like, I won? What? This episode. <laughs> We need a recount. <laughs> it was a, it's a different one. It a was different a different kind of one. It was a different kind of one. <laughs> Leah took this one. Of Amelia kind of one. Earhart, the winner yes. of this uh, episode of Who's Life. If there was a live studio audience here, they would be mm. clapping and cheering, and everyone would be having a blast. I'd curtsy. You would you would curtsy if you could. But I mean, you know, we gotta we gotta stay seated yeah, for this. Okay. We don't need Amelia Earhart off uh, flying away. Well, that is officially an episode of Who's Life. So, guys. Hey, thanks for doing this. That was that was pretty good. I'm never no coming problem. back. Appreciate that was <clears throat> Taylor. Glad you had a fun time, right? Yeah, I guess. 
Okay, well, as we tell the people goodbye, if you guys would <laughs> like anyone to find you around the internet, where can they do so? Amelia Earhart, go. Don't. Don't find Leah around the internet, but Taylor, how about you? Uh, if you can find me, I'll send you a $2 gift card. A challenge has been laid out at the end of this episode. So Only $2. Maybe you can find... Fuck. Folks. <laughs> Only the first person. Spoil spoilers for this challenge. I mean, like, obviously, when I release these episodes, they're going to be tagged in the oh, stuff. So, fuck, like, you're so gonna, many gift cards. Yeah. At Amelia Earhart 14, <laughs> because by the time she got back, that name had been taken 14 times. What the fuck? Someone took my name, dude. <laughs> I don't know why she's a surfer, bro, all of a sudden. No, no, no. She's from New York. Yeah, remember? For, yeah. for sure.